my beloved love. This is so opposite of what we are taught in society that many people will not quite understand it, but they will see over time the results of that way of being. They will begin to see you and see your life as utterly magical in a way that they can't even find words to explain or describe. And many of you may have already experienced this. Many of you will be experiencing this moving into the future. But this is really how you lead by example into this fifth dimensional new reality that we are stepping into. You show it through the example of being someone brave enough to go within to tune into yourself before tuning outside to the rest of the world, to hold your vision and continue to expand that vision, trusting that when that vision becomes fully familiar and real to you internally, it will begin to show up physically. Wow, very powerful messages coming through. So thank you to all of you who are here, actually co-creating all of these messages and pieces of information. By the way, if you would like me to channel more specifically for you and your situation, I do also recommend liking the video and subscribing to the channel, as these are forms of energy transfer, and this does allow me to pick up more easily on your energy and channel more specifically for you and your situation. I got a really strong message that said, Embrace fully who you are, see the beauty in your uniqueness, in your differentness, because I feel that for someone listening here, at times you may doubt the value of your unique or different nature. There may be times throughout your life where you have wanted to conform, or wanted or wished that you were more like others, or that you shared more of the same interests, hobbies, gifts, ways of being with other people. But the truth is that you have always stood out on a collective level. You've never fully been able to blend in or fully conform yourself and that is because, at a soul level, you have not been meant to conform. You have been meant to fully embody the differentness, the uniqueness of who you are at a spirit level, and in doing so, to inspire others to love, accept, and embrace their own differentness as well. But this has not always been an easy path for you. It's something with an ending point, it's something that's very finite. So, what is this finite thing in the way? So it seems like the thing in the way is definitely something temporary, whether that's a circumstance, a disconnect, a relationship. And I'm hearing many people will be coming back around, even people who may have rejected you or not understood you in the past, because once you're implanted in someone's psyche, once you have interacted energetically, not even physically, but even just energetically in the same kind of time-space reality with a particular other soul, you become implanted in their subconscious mind, in their psyche, in a dormant way sometimes at first, where they may not even recognize that you're kind of in their awareness or in their mind in the background. From Divine Muscular Type yes, if you believe.